Oh yeah, hello. Please tell me that you can't grab me. Oh hell yeah, it can't grab- oh wait, no it can. Oh, that's bad. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a swing at our new ocean platform base. Now you may be wondering, don't we already have one? Yes we do, it's the wooden one. The metal one is so much bigger and better. Look at that thing, it's just so freaking beautiful. Plus, you can fit the wooden one on the inside of a metal one. They don't snap to each other in any way, but I think that's just kind of goes to show that this thing is gigantic. It's 20 by 20 in terms of walls or foundations or whatever. And um, yeah, I, I want a two by two grid of these things, which is a little bit silly and also crazy at the same time. Uh, attempting to do this and getting this perfect is gonna be pretty difficult and I've actually been trying to work on that over the last little bit but I just want to bring you guys on at this point because I have not completely figured out how to make it perfect with all four but I know how to get two and two beside each other and be like perfect so guys go ahead and hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one it really does help me out and I do appreciate it okay so here is how you get uh, two platforms right beside each other and perfect so what you want to do is you want to just I guess well right actually this is by the way I should probably mention this this is where we're gonna be building our uh, ocean platform base this is the eastern spawn it gives you this nice little island and um, I basically just built off that just a good bit but you want to build out and you want to build 10 that way and 10 that way and then at that point you want to go ahead and place a triangle ceiling right here and then another one right there the one in the back is optional but uh, on this one here you want to snap a ladder now the reason why I'm doing this is to completely line up the foundation now you're probably wondering why don't I just snap a ladder to this square foundation well really good question there Billy um, <laughs> if I did that I wouldn't get the very center you see when you place a structure you don't place it you place it from the exact center, right? So the exact center of this has 10 going that way and 10 going that way. So placing it on a ceiling, one of the square ceilings, doesn't help me at all because then it would kind of overlap or there would be a gap depending on which way I would place it. So by do my phone is on loud. I'm not restarting this. <laughs> I'm going to just turn that off. There we go. Uh, by doing this, I essentially can line them up perfectly so they're going to sit beside each other in the water. So here, let me just place them down as like a little bit of an example. We're not going to get it perfect. I'm just going to place it like there for the moment. And we're going to run all the way over to here. And then I'm going to show you guys the other one right beside it. Awesome. Okay. And we're just going to roughly place that one. Boom. Cool. We actually, we didn't line those up very well at all, but... Uh, that's okay. Just an example. Let me hop down here and show you the side-by-side. -side. There we go. The side-by-side -side view of them. So you can see that they slightly overlap, but I, I feel like that doesn't really matter at all, actually, because I'm pretty sure. Now, I'm not actually 100% sure about this, but let me, let me try. I don't have any... Okay, wait. No, there's no snap points on the outside, is there? Or is there? I can't actually remember if there is or not. I don't have any walls on me, but I could probably make some. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is perfect, right? I, I think that this is kind of perfect. Side by side. Obviously, you know, we need to line them up this way, but I've got a really easy way of doing that. So, I don't know. I feel like this is going to be fine. <laughs> now, the issue is I can get them side by side, but I need to get them side by side, and then I need to get another one over here, and that has to be side by side with this one, and this one when that one's there, but that one also has to be, you know, it's it's very, very confusing. Um, and trying to get it without any, like, major overlap or any gaps at all is the very difficult part. Now, my idea is that uh, initially I will place this one, and then I will place that one, and then I'll come back and I'll place this one and then that one over there. So my idea is this. Let me go ahead and just pick these up really quick. Boom. All right. We got to have to get up here really quick and I can kind of roughly show you what I'm doing. So here is my idea, right? So I'm going to start off by first of all going into K mode right here. I'm going to climb up the ladder slightly and then, oh, I didn't do that very well, did I? <laughs> Let's climb up that ladder slightly and then press E. Yeah, we could invent plumbing for that. Thank you, Helena. Uh, if you climb up slightly uh, and then press E, it, sometimes here, let me just show you. Sometimes it like shoves you off to the side like that. And then if you hop up to the top and then hop off, it will usually shove you off to the side a little bit as well. But if you hop onto the ladder, climb up just a little bit and then press E, it doesn't really seem to shove you at all, which is great. So my idea is this, right? So I do, 
Let me let me retry that because I think I moved my mouse slightly. Boom. Okay, so we're gonna have to go like that. We're gonna have to come out of K mode, place it down, try to kind of like line it up as best we can. I want it roughly around there. Now at this point, I'm going to hold this angle and I'm gonna go ahead and place that. And I'm gonna run over here and try to place another one. Uh, where's, I think I have those on number six, right? So this is the issue, trying to get it. I don't know why it keeps jumping up like that, to be honest. I think it might be something to do with the ladder or something like that. And I, I can actually remove all that stuff. I actually don't need that stuff anymore. That was a different idea that I had to try and make these line up properly. But the idea that I have is to hold that same angle so I can get it uh, perfect. And then obviously that doesn't look very good though. Let me just, there we go. I feel like that's the closest we're gonna get. So I hold that same angle, walk forward to this point and then place that. And then after that, I feel like the best way of trying to get the ones over there placed is to have like a walkway going that direction out by like 20 foundations and then, you know, hold this exact same angle and then place it. But I'm going to also need to line myself up like this. I don't know. That's going to be very difficult and very confusing. But as you can see, I can have another one right beside it. It doesn't really help very much because I need to get the other two in. I don't know. This whole process is very confusing. Now, I really hope that there is no really easy way of doing this. Like, I am, I'm not an expert at building an arc, and I don't claim to be at all. I think that I could build some pretty cool stuff, in my opinion. But I, I don't know. I'm not, like, an expert or anything. I know, like, tons of channels, like, base their whole content around actually building, and they do it really well. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any better ways of doing this besides the way that I can come up in my head. So I don't know. We're, we're going to see if this will work. Uh, I didn't actually mean to place that. <laughs> God damn it. Give me that back. I can't even grab it. All right. I actually meant to place uh, this and get over here to grab these thatch ceilings right here. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my idea. I don't know if this is actually going to work. We're going to have to see. It might be slightly off in some way and there's definitely a lot of a lot of like room for error while doing it this way but i don't know it's it's gonna have to do because i have no other clue how to do this so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna restart and i'm gonna get everything placed out so i'm gonna obviously at this point i'm gonna need like a little walkway going in this direction right probably i don't know where maybe from like here i don't know five six seven eight nine yeah we'll figure that out so I'm just going to clean this stuff up and then I'm going to try to figure this out and uh, then we'll be back. Okay, I think I got this almost perfect. There is one little flaw that I do see and it's somehow these two are slightly misaligned. These are the two that are closest to the island. I don't exactly know how that happened, but guys, like I could spend all day doing this and get absolutely nothing recorded but try to make this perfect or I could just take this it's pretty freaking close I got the hardest part perfect actually over this side is is much better than back there as you can see like it's pretty amazing over here it is slightly off there as well I don't ah whatever I don't care <laughs> we're gonna just go with it it's fine it is what it is um they're almost perfect I I do have to say Mod authors, like when the when the dev kit updates, please somebody make a, a like an ocean platform uh, mod where they can actually snap. That would be amazing. I don't know. I think uh, I think a lot of people will probably want to download that one. Um, but yeah, no, this is this is good. This is this is good enough. We're gonna go with this. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go with it. I'm just gonna accept that they're just slightly off. But it is what it is. I tried my best and I did a really good job, I think. <laughs> I don't know. You guys let me know. But I think that this is almost perfect. Uh, okay, so now we got to start trying to figure out what this space is going to be. And I can tell you what it is going to be right now. It's going to be a bit of like a bit of everything. I think, you know, we got I fell into the water. We got four little areas right here. Okay, we've got the four areas that we could potentially have little water pens. I think we're gonna make one of them as like the workshop area, one of them as like a breeding pen area, another one as maybe like, I don't know, just like a dino pen. So we can have like our, our best Mosa, Vader in there. We can have our Tuso as well, Sinward. 
Um, and then I don't know what the last one's going to be. We'll have to figure that one out. But yeah, that's kind of what I want to go for with this build. Just, you know, we've got like a lot of space to work with. This is a 40 by 40 platform now with all four of these together like this. And um, I think that it's definitely going to, it's going to be a, a bit of a giant project to try and get all this done. So it's probably not all going to happen here today. But I wanted to at least start off by getting these placed, and uh, we have done that. That is awesome. So we're just doing a little bit of cheating right now just to try and see this from, like, an aerial view. And I gotta say, this looks dope. Um, so obviously I'm flying right now. Uh, you can't really have flyers in Genesis, so I kind of just wanted to at least see what it would look like from up above. And that looks amazing. I wonder how far do these actually load in from? Can I see it? Okay, no, you can't. All right, well, that's fine. I mean, we've got a spawn island. We have our awesome giant platform. This is amazing looking. This is going to look really cool once we fill it all in with whatever we're going to put in here because we got so much space to work with. But um, yeah, that's enough cheating for now. Okay, so we have a little bit of an issue, but I think I might know a workaround, okay? I'm not sure about this, but we'll get to that in just a second after I explain what the issue is. So... Basically, on these platforms, most people probably already know this, but you cannot snap down further than three walls, right? So we'll go three. See, can't place number four. Even with S plus and all this fancy stuff, you still can't place that there, right? Okay. Now, I, I think I figured out a way to cheat the system, okay? This is something that's not going to be possible on official, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to work. <laughs> This is... I haven't tried this yet. I'm really excited. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically place that ceiling there. And that's going to be our anchor point for this wall. Because I don't want the walls to be snapped onto the edge. Because if they are, and I place walls like here, going right up to the corner, there's going to be a tiny gap in the corner or else it's just going to look weird or something. So we have the wall anchored to there, okay? Now let me see. So I'm going to place that there. And I'm going to remove this wall. Uh, again, only possible in, in S+. Plus. There's this trick where you can make things go upside down, okay? It's it's something that I've really wanted to actually play around with, and I'm probably going to do it at some point as like a bit of a jokey video, but uh, just bear with me here. So what you do is you snap one of these uh, sloped walls. It can be thatch. It can be anything. I just made a thatch one. Uh, you snap one of those upside down and then remove everything else. I guess you don't even have to remove everything else. You could leave those structures there. And then you place a ceiling there or whatever. Um, now that ceiling's upside down, as you can see. They're not normally like this. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know if this is going to work. I really hope it will. Oh my god, it's going to work. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, I need to get it on here. Oh, can I only put it there? Hang on. Oh, I had it. <laughs> Yes! Oh, God! Building hacks are amazing! Look at that! Look at that! That is beautiful! <laughs> That's an extra large wall from S+. Plus. If you guys don't know, uh, it's like 12, 12 uh, high or long or whatever. Um, That's amazing. Can I build down here, though? That's another question. Oh, my God, dude, I can. No way! Oh, yeah, you can cheat the system. You can cheat the system. Screw you, Ark, and your limitations. Don't stop me from doing what I want to do. I want a nice big breeding pen and dino pen, and that's what I'm going to have. You can't stop me, Ark. I will figure out other ways around it. And I just have. Amazing. Uh, back here, we're going to have workshop maybe here, or should it be the other side, actually? I haven't really... Yeah, let's make it on the other side, because the water over here is deeper, so... Uh, workshop over on this side and then right beside that let me get up here really quick so workshop and then water dino breeding pen okay and then over here uh i kind of burped there for a second so if that sounded weird when i was talking that's why um <laughs> over here maybe this could be uh the like dino storage pen or something or like where i can park my mosa and tuso and everything and then over here, it's going to be a turtle docking uh, station, something like that. I don't know. We're probably going to end up building like an awesome base on the back of one of the turtles. And uh, I'll obviously need a space to put that in the base. So maybe that could be over here. So yeah, that's what we're going to do with all four sides of our or all four quadrants of our little uh, base here. So 
that's gonna be amazing and I cannot believe that that little building hack actually worked out for us so yeah I'm gonna obviously have to do that uh wait where was it again it was over here and then over here I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do for the turtle breeding or for the turtle uh containment pen whatever docking station I don't know what I'm gonna do for that just yet, but um, I'll figure that one out. So I think for the rest of the video, we're gonna do a couple of the missions in the ocean biome because there's so many over there that I still need to do. Uh, but I quickly want to mention this one thing here. Uh, basically, they they put out their patch notes and they mentioned that the Ferox's uh, imprint status is now uh, fixed. So as you can see up in the corner there, you can see that it has the imprint symbol, and right there you can see Rider imprint, blah blah blah. Uh, and it also says it, it also says it in the inventory as well. So obviously previously to right now um, This wasn't appearing and neither was the corner uh, symbol either So I just assumed at that point that these things weren't getting imprinted But apparently they were because this guy does not have any additional stats So I imagine that he probably was imprinted. It just wasn't showing it at all. So yeah, good to know, good to know. Uh, kind of disappointing at the same time. I wish I had have known that at the start, but uh, yeah, I, I didn't, unfortunately. One more thing I want to mention is that, um, of course, I will be doing the rest of the base at some point. I just want to take a little bit of a break on it for the moment, mainly because I was kind of thinking, like, I want more time to try to come up with some really good ideas for the base. I don't want to just, like, rush into it or whatever. And, um, oh, you know what? Ah, crap, I came here and I meant to get some lamb. Let me go grab some. Um, so yeah, I want some more time to just think about all that. Plus, we're gonna need, like, so much crystal. Like, so, so much crystal. And I really, I don't feel like going out to try and collect that for the rest of the day. So yeah, we'll do that very, very soon. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for the base, let me know. And, uh, let's head back to the ocean. We're gonna go directly to east, because that is where I live. There is my lovely base. By the way, I actually did fill in that side right there. And uh, I was going to get working on it, but we'll we'll obviously do that in another stage. All right, so missions. They have updated the little... Stop moving me. <laughs> they updated the little menu in here. Uh, so now, obviously, you can see it shows the little symbols kind of pointing towards what these missions are. So this symbol right here stands for a hunt. Uh, this one here is like... I, actually, I can't remember what that one exactly means. Um, this one here, I do believe, is an escort one. Yeah. And then this one here is one of the package grabbing ones. Like, you basically have to get out there with, like, a bounty. Um, and then races, obviously. Another escort. And then uh, I guess this is just a custom symbol for the motor one, I, I suppose. Uh, let me show you one of the other biomes. Let's go to the bog here. So in here, you can see there's a couple other ones. This one right here is one of the gauntlet ones. Uh, the, so the three creatures. Um, and then duh, basketball, obviously. Fishing. So yeah, there's um, lovely new little symbols in here. It also has some just a better UI feel to it. I really like this, actually. I'm, I'm pretty happy that they made a little bit of a change to it because it looks a lot nicer now. And for sure, like the symbols are really handy. That way, you don't have to read the description to understand what type of mission it is which I really enjoy. So, which ones are we gonna do here today? So, um, what ones have we done so far? Let's just take a look at that. So, I've done the teeth underneath, which is the one where we had to get those Megalodon teeth. Uh, yeah, that was it. Let's see, we've done the Plessy Hunt. We've done all the races, I think. Yeah, I don't think that there's any more races here. Um, and then we've done the Gamma and then the Beta of the Mooter boss fight. So, we have a couple more hunt ones here to do. We also have this one here. What is that? Da, da, da. Hmm. I've heard that these ones are pretty easy. And actually, you can see, judging by the points, you can kind of tell how easy it really is. I mean, you hardly get any points for these things at all. Like, it's kind of crazy. So, I don't know. I'll probably do those at another stage. I kind of just want to do a hunting one here today. Let us maybe either go for the Mosa or... The, oh yes, the lead sick this, that could be fun. We could probably do that on beta actually. So let's go ahead and track that one and uh, I'll prepare all my stuff and then we'll head off and try to do that one. Okay, so this one's not too far away. I think that this is the same spot where we did the Plessy one from. Pretty sure, cause it kind of looks like it might be. Yeah, some of the missions are like bundled into the same area. So let's see, this is probably it, okay. So, I think we're safe to go here. 
got some scary moses down there oh i've just realized uh scuba tank might be useful so which one is it chasing the white whale there we go beta all right let's do it so obviously uh we have to follow the tracks in this one i really i'm not a big fan of the the hunt ones in the water for the simple reason that the tracks are kind of difficult to see sometimes so there's game nearby all right like, here we go scan helena please there we go okay there they are so a creature with like a better turning radius would be easier to do this with i don't know where do we go down here oh my god hardly hitting any of these yeah i've hit like two of them so far <laughs> All right, it might be. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was about to say it might be the same as the Plessy one because the Plessy appeared up here. All right, here we go. Oh, you do not do what? You don't do increased damage. Oh, wait, no, this is the beta. What am I talking about? I'm an idiot. Wow. Okay. Oh my God. That thing is giant. That's like so much bigger than a normal one. Dude, <laughs> it's also like super fast as well. I don't remember these things being that fast and agile. All right, we should be able to do this, though, for sure. I wonder if I can grab it. It'd be kind of funny if I could, to be honest. Wow, yeah, no, you can't. <laughs> I feel like that would be just broken if you could grab them, though. That way, the Tuso would just own it, all of these missions. We got to get an imprinted Tuso at some point, but uh, we were really lucky to find this 180 that we tamed, so I, I don't know. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for another high level, but it might be a while before we end up finding one, to be honest. All right, here we go. That thing does like trash damage, which is great. I wonder what the, uh, what is it called? Like the alpha of this would do then. If that's doing 68 and 125 or whatever, I wonder how much the alpha does. Probably not much more. We might actually be able to do that one. Although my, my Chuso kind of sucks here. He's not really doing that much damage. Definitely gonna be a long fight here look at this this looks crazy just a giant squid versus a giant weird fish my god that thing has so much health look at that it doesn't even fully show up that's insane and there we go all right how much damage did i take there not that much we're still really good right now all right, if I need to heal though, I could just grab a shark and heal off of that. All right, there she is. Hello again. I wonder what her minions are gonna be in the last uh, part of this mission. Cause obviously at the very end, once we, you know, take her down by another third or whatever right now, uh, at the very end, we're gonna have to fight her and a bunch of her minions. But I'm curious, like maybe Basilos? I don't know. It's probably gonna be like Megalodons, if anything, I guess. I don't know if Basilos would be a good fit for her minions. But uh, yeah, they always have minions, essentially. It's usually some other creature, although in some cases it can just be a smaller version of them. Come on, we're gonna take you down. Oh my God. This is honestly insane looking. Like, look at that. I'm like tentacling its face. Wait, let's do this. That would make it like an amazing thumbnail. I might even try to do something like that for the thumbnail of this video. I don't know. We'll see. There we go. Goodbye. Where are you going? <laughs> Surely we could just chase it down and try to kill it, but it's not going to allow me. All right, Helena, start showing me where to go. What is it doing up there? <laughs> there they go. All right. Oh, it is Basilos. Okay. Interesting. Didn't think it would. I mean, I kind of called it and then I went back on that. So I don't know. I just figured it probably wouldn't be Basilos. <laughs> After saying it might be Basilos. I don't know. I can't make my mind up. Unfortunately, you can't grab Basilos with the uh, Tuso. And also, I don't think it would have allowed me anyway. So gotta just go ahead and tentacle them to death all right well they're not really that interested are they what are they doing they're not even actually coming in to fight me are they wow okay 
Well, Basilos hardly ever really fight you at all. I don't think that they actually fight you even if you have the, uh, what is it, the Ammonite stuff on you. Yeah, they're just like piecing out. They don't even want any part of this. Okay, that's cool. I guess I'll just kill your master then. <laughs> the Basilos just got TP back to me because he kept running away. Yeah, there's the other one. All right, Lead Sictus is going to go down very, very soon. In just a second, and goodbye. Awesome. All right, oh, we didn't get a captain's half for that. I thought we might, because it's kind of technically a, an alpha, I guess. I don't know. I figured that we might, but obviously we didn't. All right, let's see if we can kill these Basilos without them hiding from me too much. All right, come here. You got to tickle the sea sausage. That's the only way. Come on. Ah. No, come back. All right, tickle them from here, I guess. Why is it like, why do they swim away? Why even have these as minions if they're just going to do this? I guess they just never thought about the, the coating that went into the Basilo that it never really wants to attack or fight. I don't know. Kind of silly though. Kind of almost want to just like pull out my, uh, like a spear gun and shoot them instead. Um, you know what we will do? We're going to choke out the Mosa and take them out quicker with them. Whoa. All right. Oh, it's already back this way. Oh, that's not one of them. <laughs> Thought it was for a second. All right, here we go. One of them got a full heal there, so we're just going to constantly have to deal with that if I don't do this with the Mosa and kill them quicker. Come on. All right, if only we had a tech saddle, that would be amazing. Okay. Any second now. And you're gone. Amazing. Okay. Basilo blubber. Sweet. Let's kill this one as well for no apparent reason. <laughs> All right. Let's go kill this one now. He's probably going to teleport back, but we'll start off the kill. He's definitely going to get a teleport back here any second now. Yeah, got to say, the Basilo is like the worst part about this mission. It's kind of difficult to kill them when they just keep swimming away. And they get a full heal if they go outside of whatever the zone is. So hopefully we can kill it here. I have the Tuso helping. Tuso's got a better AoE. Come on, get in there. Attack it. Okay. Crap. Don't you freaking teleport and get a heal. I would not be very happy. Okay, I think we got it. Sweet. There we go. Nice. Ooh, magma source saddle. Not a good one, but still a magma source saddle. Um Yeah. Nothing insane. Let's go ahead and drop that because that's kind of useless to me. Um, yeah, nothing insane from that one. Uh, all right. Well, how hurt was the two? So I think he went down by like 10 K. I, I do believe. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, we can heal that up pretty quick though. Let me go ahead and actually put, uh, Vader into a cryopod really quick. Okay. I could probably do that one on alpha, but I think we'll do a different hunt mission next. And then We'll probably maybe just do that one like in another video or something. I want to show off most of the alpha hunts on cam. Like I'm not going to bother showing you guys the gamma. I'll just do that in my spare time uh, between videos or something. Cause like, you know, I could do it. Like if I've done the beta, the gamma is like just piss easy. So uh, what do we want to do next? Um, we've done 60 missions so far. We could technically go into the controller arena right now. I think you need 58 for that. Damn. All right. Uh, let's see. What should we do next? We've got this, and we've got the Mosa one. I'm kind of nervous about the two of them, to be honest. Like, if I'm going to be completely honest, I'm, like, super nervous about the Tuso one. I don't know if that thing can grab me. If it can grab me, uh, that is just... That's game over. I don't know how we're going to defeat that on Alpha if that thing can grab me. So maybe let's do that one. We'll see if it can grab a Mosa. Hopefully it can't. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. So first of all, I need to 
drain the blood of a few sharks. So I got to find some sharks first. Um, I actually don't even see any. What is that? Okay, I thought I saw something. Um, yeah, I guess angler fish work too. Basically just healing up the two. So I guess I'll show this just in case some people are a little bit unfamiliar about this. So let me go ahead and... Oh, I guess, you know what? We could go grab that Mosa. Although they do damage back, so maybe, maybe not. So you can see my health is going up by a pretty rapid regeneration rate right there um almost up by around 2k up so far like that is ridiculous i love the two so because they're just so useful in the water like and this is the place to have them as well like this is kind of crazy how useful and how great they are in this biome because there's just so much space to go around and and do everything in i mean let's I mean, let's go ahead and actually just grab this mosa maybe we can heal off of him he can hit me back but I don't know, maybe we can maybe we can get some healing going without taking too much damage from him. I think he's still in that bubble, is he? Oh yeah, he is, so he's not even attacking me. Amazing. So yeah, we'll just heal off of him for the moment. It's a little bit slower because we do less damage because he's an ex Mosa, but there's something attacking me. What is that? Oh, it's a jellyfish. Oh, okay. Well luckily they don't stun you off like they do for the Mosa, but it's still kind of annoying. Let's um See if we can maybe hit it just a little bit. Or you know what? We could just let go of the Mosa and just go elsewhere. All right. Well, I just got a little bit more to heal. And then we'll go ahead and take on that mission. That is the one like right below my base and everything. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's see. So we're going to do this one on the Mosa instead. Uh, oh, there's the first tracks. Let's do a turn. Only 68 tracks to find this time. Okay, not that bad. I think that might be it down there. Oh, yeah. Hello. Please tell me that you can't grab me. Oh, hell yeah. It can't grab. Oh, wait. No, it can. Oh, that's bad. I mean, this is just the gamma, but like that's going to be kind of terrifying for the alpha. I'm going to have to use two so's against it, not Mosa's. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. That egg was also like gigantic. I'm not sure if that's bigger than an alpha. It looks probably the same size. All right, here we go. Where are the tracks? I think I see one over here. I think this is it already. Yeah, there it is already. Well, damn, dude. That's kind of insane. I feel like an army of Moses would probably work well against the Tuso on alpha version, maybe. Just they can heal off of you slightly by doing this. And while it doesn't do that much damage, I don't know. He might be able to heal a good amount from him. Okay. Where are the new tracks? It's still trying to get away from me. Who hit the squid? All right, come on. Probably this way, I imagine. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, it's got eel minions. Not bad. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, we're doing decreased damage because of those eels, so we should probably try and take them out if we can. Come on. All right, well, the two is like almost dead here. And sweet. No black pearls. That's okay, I guess. Uh oh, everything's on me. <laughs> let's uh let's get away here. I don't want to fight all these creatures. Oh man, alright. Let's go over this way. So what did we get that time? I think we got that and that. Uh this, I think. We got a long neck. I think. <laughs> You see, look, I, I don't know how many of these were actually from the last mission or this one. I assume I probably have some of those right. Um, I'm not sure if we had that before. Yeah, still, the loot's not fantastic. I mean, yeah, it, it is what it is. Like, it's, it's never really been fantastic from these missions. So, I don't know. Hopefully, at some point, we'll actually get something really good. Um, but, yeah, guys, I think that's probably going to be it for today. We'll obviously attempt that mission again. That was obviously super easy on Gamma, but uh, that's going to be a lot harder to do 
on the beta what am i doing I, I for some reason i in my mind i thought oh i have to go down here and do something but what am i doing i don't have to do that at all let's just go ahead and untrack amazing uh let's get out of the water we can actually buy a loot crate before we end off the video here let's get up here really quick and boom all right so uh yeah we'll do the uh we'll do the beta and then the alpha version of that at another stage we'll probably just need like a mosa army for that one and my scuba tank's like about to break uh one thing i want to do is i dropped all my gear for a reason don't worry oh yeah it's the shop boom and then okay, let's so get in that. here Here's what I've got. nothing new okay and let's buy one of these she what do we get you get anything good not really not really at all oh my god we keep getting just trash stuff from this like it's not worth it <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, a couple structures is cool and all, but, like, give me actual loot. I want, like, blueprints and stuff. Ah, whatever. All right. Well, uh, yeah, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, I'm overburdened now. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. Uh, of, of course, also let me know if you have any suggestions for our giant ocean base. And, uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next one.